During a politically divided time in Oklahoma schools, this TU-sponsored week-long fest calls to attention many of the books of the past and present that have been challenged, censored, or banned. And that creates cohesion of the ugliest kind, and it's what's really being done this widespread book banning. The first night of Switchyard, as it's called, featured Pulitzer Prize winning novelist Art Spiegelman, whose 1991 Holocaust-based graphic novel, Mouse, was banned by a Tennessee school district last year. At the point that you say, because that's, that's contrary to my beliefs, they sh it shouldn't be available to any kid, it shouldn't be available in a public library, to me, that, that is crossing a line and one that we think impinges on other people's freedoms. Founder of Switchyard, Ted Genoway, says Tulsa is the perfect setting for spotlighting books being debated by school boards across the nation. I thought that it was something that we needed to address. I mean, one of the things that, that is unique about the University of Tulsa being a private institution is that it doesn't feel the same pressures that some of the public institutions that are really under pressure from, from state entities do. The talks strike a chord with Oklahoma Equality Center's head librarian, Michelle Simmons. It would be good to have positive influences, positive things that they can see in literature, that they are like that, not like these other words that are being used, and they, they have potential and promise. Those other words have been used by Oklahoma State Superintendent Ryan Walters, who refers to multiple books previously available in public schools as pornographic and obscene. TU Provost George Justice disagrees. Well, I've got an 11th grader at Booker T. Washington High School, and he's reading controversial texts. I applaud that. I want our young people to think for themselves. I hope that this is an event that makes people think for themselves. Think for themselves by reading, by listening, by talking. In Tulsa, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.